All right, so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to talk about strumming with bar chords. Now, you can use everything that you've been doing up to this point with bar chords, but there's something really cool that you can add in, okay, which is uh, picking the finger up, and we call this adding scratches. Remember when we were scratching in the beginning? Well, we're going to do that on purpose. So what I can do here is I can take my bar chord. Let's just say I go to an A chord here, A bar chord, okay? So I can still do all my sector strumming, organic strumming, whatever it is that I'm trying to do. Anything I'm working on like that, okay? But the other thing I can do with a bar chord that I can't really do with an open chord is I can lift them all up, similar to what I did when I was teaching you scratching. I can lift them all up. Now I'm still touching the strings, but I'm just not pushing on anything. And I get this sound, I get that scratching. And I can use that I can incorporate that into my rhythm. You see, it's pretty cool. You can do that with power chords too. Like if I was doing a... Like Smells Like Teen Spirit. I can lift it. Now again, I'm sector strumming, right? Because it's a power chord, so I don't want to hit everything necessarily. Although if I was playing it as a full bar chord, I could. See, so scratching is something that we don't just use to develop our technique of learning how to strum. We can use it in the context of playing songs. which is pretty cool. Now, the other thing that's really nice about this picking up of the fingers is that when you do this, the chord keeps going. You have to physically, you know, stop the strings to keep that chord from vibrating, from the, the sounds to keep ringing out. With bar chords, the nice thing is, is all you have to do is lift up and the chord stops. So when you want things to be more percussive or maybe more staccato, Right? You think about like reggae music or ska. Right? I'm going, I'm doing a scratch and then I'm doing an upstrum. Right? That's how you get kind of a ska sound. Right? Or. So you see, lifting those fingers up also stops the sound of the chord so it doesn't keep ringing out. You know, if you try to go, it wouldn't sound like ska. You have to stop those. And you do that by lifting up. Now, it takes a little while to get used to that. But that's the other thing that's really great about bar chords and power chords is you have that control to, to stop the music as needed by simply lifting your fingers up. <laughs> 